because Professor uh, Walsh, uh, you have written about how software developers and cryptocurrency miners should be seen as fiduciaries. And you talked this morning about how those were, cho they, those were sort of center, they're not centralized, but they're key choke points uh, in the system and can be manipulated uh, to harm consumers. Could you talk about a, a specific example of how a cryptocurrency miner might be able to take advantage of a cryptocurrency platform? Sure. So um, in many of these proof-of-work systems like Bitcoin and Ethereum, there are large mining pools. And um, that means that the other computers who are involved in contributing their power to um, verify the transactions on the network, um, you know, trust entrust that mining pool operator with the power to pick the transactions that are going to go on the ledger and the order in which they will appear. Um, that role and ability to choose the transactions and, and add a new series of them to the list, to the ledger, um, rotates right around the different miners. So people say it's disintermediated, but during the moment when the miner is choosing the transactions for a particular block, Technologists characterize this as being in God mode, right? So those miners can um, sell their, uh, you know, price out how valuable it is to people to, to front run transactions, right? To choose to put one transaction before or behind another. They can do that for their own benefit. And there are huge amounts. Um, you, we need to get the research before Congress. There are huge amounts of value that miners are exploiting in this way right now. And it is seen as a critical, critical issue to the success of cryptocurrencies and any claims that it has to be immutable, secure, or to lack intermediaries.